Hi, Caleb with Brownhouse here. And in today's video, I wanted to talk to you about Arca Rails. So if you're not familiar uh, with it, Arca Rails is another mounting system. I know what you're thinking, just what we need, another mounting system. Uh, we have 1913, we have MLock, we have Keymod, we have 17S, now we have Arca. Uh, but no, I promise, this one's, this one's good, it's okay. I, if you're screaming at the camera right now, just take a deep breath. So, let me tell you a little bit about Arca um, and the reason why I'm even bringing it up and talking about it right now. And the reason why I have it mounted on one of my personal rifles. So, it originated in the camera world, like the, the film world. Like the camera I'm literally speaking into right now, like the, the gateway from me to you is mounted on Arca. Um, so that's where it originated, uh, a company called Arca Swiss uh, in Europe, somewhere, somewhere across the pond. Uh, they originally designed it. And then as far as the firearm world is concerned, it first kind of started gaining traction uh, with the PRS shooters, precision rifle shooting, uh, just because of its ease of use and its solid mounting platform with bipods. Um, and it worked really good as far as mounting rifles to tripods as well. Uh, and you can mount all kinds of stuff using them. Uh, one of the like really big companies that comes to mind that uses it a lot and really advocates for it is Area 419. Uh, they make a bunch of different like uh, bipod mounts, bag riders. Uh, they even made a different version of it called Arca Lock, which I'll get into in a little bit. Um, but let me just kind of show you exactly what Arca is and just jump right into it. So that was the only history lesson you're going to get. I promise I'm not going to talk about that anymore. Uh, so this is an Arca plate. Uh, this one in particular is a Magpul one. It's made to convert M-Lock to Arca. And as you can see, it's literally just an angled plate. So you have your Magpul interface here, uh, your, excuse me, your M-Lock interface here. And then this angled plate. And then Arca attachments can just slide right onto it, like so. And it would just simply clamp down and lock right in. And it's super fast, and it, I mean, it's, it's really solid. You don't have any, you don't need any other tools. Um, you don't need, like, a, to carry a bunch of Allen wrenches or things like that with you. You can just unscrew it, you know, half turn, boom, you're good to go. And I mentioned camera mounts before. Uh, this is an actual camera mount. Uh, this one's made by Shadow Tech. Uh, they make, like, the Hawk Saddle and stuff like that. Uh, so this is kind of where it originated and what you would see so with this system here now i mentioned arca lock from area 419 before so let's take this is something you this is a mdt chassis here this is more something you would see for like your prs setup this actually has full length arca going along the bottom and with this here let me kind of loosen here this is a area 419 Arca mount. I don't have anything else mounted to it. You could put a bipod or whatever on here. But as you can see, you can mount it anywhere on here. And what Arca lock is, so as you can see on this Area 419 mount, there are holes drilled in it right here. So Area 419, they have pins that go in here because on their Arca rails, they actually serrate them. So these pins will interface with those serrations and make an even more stable platform, uh, which is super cool. So that's just an even different version of Arca. And I say different version. All their stuff, it, anything Arca lock will fit anything Arca. So you don't need to like try and keep track of multiple things. It all works together, so you don't need to worry about that. Now, uh, let's just talk about some of the pros and cons. Let's, I mean, that's what we're all really here for, right? So... Pros, um, really quick adjustment, and I, I mean like really quick adjustment, I'll actually show you on my personal rifle here. Like if I'm using this thing and I just need to get rid of this bipod, doing whatever, um, you know, traditional M-Lock or 1913, I'd probably need tools or something like that, but I just turn that a little bit, boom, my bipod's off. Put it back on, I just simply slide it on, tighten that down. And it's an extremely solid mounting platform. And I say really solid. It's made out of all the same aluminum your other mounts are. Uh, but you have a larger surface area. So it's a lot more solid of a mount. Uh, so that's a pro there. 
Um, another pro, if you're using a full length interface like this MDT here, and this MDT bipod. So this MDT bipod right here actually has, so the mount that I have on here will do a ARCA and it'll also do a 1913, which is kind of crazy. So I, like, I know I'm gonna get judged for this. You wouldn't do this, okay? I'm just showing you this as an example, but this will mount to ARCA Okay, boom, Arca. And then I can pull it off of there if I have another firearm that has a 1913 rail on the bottom. On the bottom, not the top. Boom, it's mounted to 1913 now. So mounts like this are super versatile. Uh, but anyways, yeah, like I was saying before, I have it mounted here. Let's say I'm in a shooting position where I need my bipod set up right here. Um, you know, for one reason or another, I need to move my bipod further forward. And I know this bipod's on backwards. I'm just doing this as an example. Um, okay, bam, slid it forward. Now I can change that shooting position and not have, obviously not have to do any kind of tool takedown. And I know what you're, you're thinking, like maybe you're worried about, okay, what if you loosen it? and you're worried about your bipod flying off. Um, a lot of them have stop screws, like this one right here. So you don't have to worry about your equipment flying off. So it's extremely versatile. I can mount it anywhere. That's the pros of Arca. Cons, uh, it's expensive. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I'm just gonna lay that out there. It's more expensive than using an M-Lock or 1913 mount. Uh, but in most cases, it's worth it. It may not be worth it to everyone. That's something you kind of got to, you know, search inward and, and find for, find out for yourself. Um, another con, because it's larger, like I said, there's more surface area. Uh, it is a little bit heavier. So it, another thing you got to kind of do a little bit of soul searching on and see if it's right for you. So that's uh, that's a quick rundown on Arca. There's a little bit more to it. There's some more in-depth videos on there, uh, but... That's the quick uh, surface fly over there for you. So if you have any questions or comments, uh, you have any experience with ARCA, feel free to post it down below. If you're watching this on YouTube, I'm sure uh, the other viewers there would like to see your experiences. Uh, if you're watching this on the website, I will link some of the products I used here down below so you can check them out. And as always, uh, if you need any help, feel free to give us a call on the tech line. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time.